Hi everyone, Ricky here from Tech Talk. Today we're having a look at the Sony Xperia XZ. Massive thank you to Vodafone for sending me this. And today I want to go through the accessibility or disabled settings that you will find on this device. This is a key thing for me. So first of all, I'd just like to apologize for the sound of my voice or voice quality. It's not gonna sound as good as it normally does as I have come down with a bit of a cold fluey type thing. So we can tell we're coming into winter, but never mind. let's get on with this video. First of all, I just want to point out how quick and powerful this phone is. So there's gonna be a full review coming up soon on the channel, so make sure you go and check that out. So let's move into the accessibility settings, where we're gonna find them and which settings will come with this device. So first of all, jump into your main app drawer, then jump into settings. Then in settings, what you want to do is slide all the way down to the bottom, and then you want to look for something called accessibility. So here it's three up from the bottom, so one, two, three. So it's got a green logo and it's got accessibility. So clicking on accessibility will get us into our settings here. And let me go through these for you. So first of all, you have captions. So captions will come underneath any images or any videos to help anyone that is maybe deaf but can have vision to read their device. Magnification gestures is good for people like myself that are registered blind or partially sighted. So with this, one, two, three, very quick taps. You can slide in as well, pinch to zoom, we'll slide in. So use two fingers to move around the display as well, not just one, just make sure you use two. So one, two, three, and that will take us back to our normal size. And when that's toggled on, that can be used anywhere on the device, even on the home screen. So underneath that, you can see large text, which is already toggled on. So I do need this. It's a shame that Sony don't offer any variance in text size, because being visually impaired, I need my text quite big on a device. This is fairly big for the majority of users. If I just toggle this off, you can see actually how small that text is. So underneath that, you have high contrast text as well, which will make it a little bit bolder and a little bit more easier to see. Underneath that, you have color inversion and color correction. So if I just scroll down here, if I turn color inversion on here, it will go black and white and make it a little bit easier for you to read. You have color correction there, which helps with red and green. So underneath that, you have talk back, you have accessibility shortcut. So accessibility shortcut is great. You can put this on your home screen and jump straight into these settings and change them if you need to. So underneath that, you've got play sound when battery is low, speak your password, text-to-speech output, power button at the side here, which is the silver colored button. So if I just turn this around, it's nice that Sony have identified the differences between their buttons, which they do with all phones, and that is great to see. You also have auto screen rotate on this. So if I rotate it this way, the screen will auto rotate for us. You've got touch and hold delay, and then you've got about talk back and switch access as well. So just going back up to TalkBack, there's TalkBack up here at the top. So if we go into TalkBack here, we toggle this on. Okay, so what TalkBack will do is describe everything that is on your home screen for you when highlighted. So let me show you for example. When TalkBack is on, your device provides spoken feedback to help blind and low vision users. For example, it describes what you touch, select and activate. If you have turned talk back on accidentally, turn it off by tapping the switch until the green outline is around it, then double tapping it. Do the same interaction for the resulting confirmation dialog. Then you can actually tap different things on your bar up here so we can see some notifications. YouTube. You can also get the time. 1051. Settings. And you can highlight multiple different features. If I go back Navigate here. Navigate up button. I have to double tap this quickly to actually make this action come true. Navigate up. Accessibility. Showing items 1 to 8 of 20. Okay, and then with two fingers. Notification shade. Accessibility. Sure. Showing items 10 to 17 of 20. So as you can see, as I go through there, it shows you a sound, or you can hear a sound effect, sorry that you're going up or down. So if I scroll back up, you'll hear a different sound effect. Showing items seven to 15 of 20. And there we go, that was talk back. And I have to say, Sony have introduced some lessons as well, which is really good to see. They've got some lessons on scrolling, some finding applications and different functions that you can use with TalkBack. Also a quick note on all the settings that are available on this phone, it's fantastic to see. The only key thing I would like to see is a variant in text size. 
like I said, being registered blind, I need my text quite bigger, considerably bigger than this when I'm trying to read and make videos for you guys. So let me know what you think down below of the accessibility settings of the Sony Xperia XZ. Remember to hit that like button, remember to subscribe as always, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.